hello and welcome again so in this video i'll show you how to configure static nut in watchguard firewall using the xtm virtual image running in vmware workstation so to, to access the image from the vmware workstation i'll be using web ui which is preferred by most of the engineers because it is easy to configure and also to make changes using the web ui than the cli and watchguard system manager so welcome guys so before we get started snat allows inbound traffic so snat is for inbound traffic like accessing the, the services running running behind the, the firewall like the services which which the business allows to be accessed from the outside the network like it like https apache yeah all, all that servers which which the business allows them to be accessed from outside the network so to access the firewall using the the web ui i'll just copy the, the primary ip address which is like the external IP address of the virtual firewall and press it and paste it to the web browser so the IP address is 192.168.43.884. So the port is the default port for for web access to the firewall is 8080 so this is the watch guard web ui so you log in with the credentials which, which i configured initially So here is the, the dashboard, but you can notice that my image has no feature key. But because this is a lab, a lab, personal lab, I don't need to register the firewall and add the feature key. Which the feature key contains the security subscribed security features. So to configure the hazard, you just go to the firewall. It's not then from s not you had this you had it like action it's just action s not is added like action you can just give name to your s not you can just name it you can just name it like external like For example, like web access, says type as not, then save. What's this? At least one member must be added. Web access description type add save. Okay, let me just refresh. Okay, so S not okay, add S not name web access
uh, type static NAT SNAT, you can also configure the SNAT for server load balancing like di like directing different session to different servers for the web for the same website or the same service but for this video I'll do just the static NAT so add okay so add member so for this you just add you can add like any external SNAT is very flexible like any external any because the services will be accessed from external it's good to add it external or any external yeah external then you can tap the external interface of the firewall which for this case is yes external external done then there's no need of setting the internal port different port can just leave it like that okay yes the one is not external to this so the external interface is mapped to this internal IP address which this IP address belongs to the internal server running the service the web service so you can after that change the changes okay saved so we have our SNAT action so after that we had the policy for the action so firewall policies this is the de this is the default policies which come configured in the firewall so to add policy you go with this but you go with hard policy add firewall policy so for the policy you can configure either packet filter proxy or custom so for this case we'll configure custom because we want to configure a different destination port custom add custom okay name okay, we can just name it web service access the name matters there's no there's no need of adding more description you can either go with the type packet filter or pro proxy so okay then you go with oh, let's go with the packet filter add okay go port the protocol is TCP And the port will be let's say port 443 okay or we can go with ports you can allow the service on port let's just assume that our service is running on port port what let's say port let's go with portator can go with portator okay okay click edit okay okay save 
Okay. Potato. there. Okay, good. Custom web service access. Potato TCP. Okay. Add policy. Oh. So make sure the connections are allowed. Then you allow the traffic from external or any external to remove that, then add add our static NAT which is the web access this is the the name of the has NAT okay external to the internal service so the has NAT map the traffic from external to the the to the the private IP of the Server of which from which the service is running on port 8 which is TCP okay send log to enable sending logs traffic monitoring and also you can also enable log for report But for this, we'll not go into different it too much. The like send as an MP trap of which you can allow and also notification. Then save the, the configurations. Saved. So yes, our policy. Our policy is here which is a web service external to our hasnet so our hasnet action is configured with the policy and it is and it is running so to monitor the hasnet traffic you can just monitor it from the traffic monitor But for this, for this virtual image, I'm not able to generate the traffic because some interfaces are not configured, like the internal to the service, to, for like the internal interface from which the server is connected. It is not running. So, but I can show you how to search the traffic for the SNAT. You can just search it with uh, you can you can with, with use a wind card like like asterisk not you can see that it has such nothing zero result because the traffic have not triggered any traffic for the SNAP. But assuming that traffic was triggered to access the internal service and you, you search it with the wind card with the wind card of star NAT star, you can notice the traffic has been allowed. So welcome guys sub subscribe ring the bell and don't forget to like the video thank you